Hello and welcome to the Taste of Success. Thanks to Sidewood Wines, Port Adelaide's official wine partner. Now, uh, this is a segment where we talk to Port Adelaide people who have had success and just find out something about them that you might not know. Now, I've got one of Port Adelaide's greatest, Warren Gary Treadray. There's a secret already, mate. Yeah, How are you, buddy? No, we don't want to <laughs> mention that middle name. <laughs> now, let's go back. Obviously, we're premiership teammates from 1996 when you were... Yes, Skipper. What were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like 17. <laughs> How old were you? Yeah, well, let's not go there, but because uh, that'll give away my age now. <laughs> There's another secret. Oh, geez. Now, 96, you're playing that flag. We go in the AFL in 97, which is fantastic. You and a lot of other guys signed up, which was great and the club did a great job of that but my understanding is you signed 97 98 99 yep. now there was some talk at the end of 98 that you might go to Carlton trade well, to be honest and I'm probably a bit embarrassed to say I tried to go I, I actually felt at that stage I wasn't getting an opportunity and There's I had clubs secret. yeah I had <laughs> clubs um, really come and you know knock on the door but I was held in a contract which was fine and uh, Jack doesn't get renewed Choco comes in Darryl Poole's injured, Scott Cummins has been traded, and I've been thrown in at centre-half forward. So Gee whiz, there's a lot, of little, quick. lot of little factors there yeah. all happening at I'm once. I'm no good at chess, but that's, <laughs> what, that's effectively what happened. A lot of fans don't realise what goes on behind the scenes. Everyone just assumes our oh, managers talk to clubs and uh, yeah. you go for a contract. But there's also stages where players may or may not go and meet with opposition clubs. And so we're sitting there and Eddie's pitching everything. And he, at that stage, he was Collingwood president. Tony Shaw was coach. At the stage, I just sat back and I was like, I probably quite literally, the sales pitch was that good for a 20, 20 yeah. to soon to be 20 on year old uh, kid going, wow, Eddie from the footy shows giving me this, offering me yeah. this much money. We'll talk about money later. And it was the perfect sale. So yeah, then in the end they just talked and it was the amazing sales pitch. And I probably left there that day thinking, you know what, I'm probably going to go to Collingwood because we were never in the AFL when I was a kid. Yeah. And I was never playing for Adelaide. Yeah. So I thought I'd, I'd always want to go to either Carlton, who Nana was a supporter of, and, and Dad who played at Collingwood. So yeah. at that stage, um, you know, I probably would have signed, sealed and delivered. You know, he was promising stuff with Crown Casino and all the bits and pieces and all the bells and whistles that Collingwood could deliver. But What made you stay at Port Adelaide? Well, I had no reason to move. The previous year, I wasn't getting the opportunity. My form was good. I had a coach who believed in me. I was, you know... The bottom line, you living were living at Grange. You were home. I was Port Adelaide boy, and yeah. I'm looking for what else do I want yeah. out of life. The biggest reason for me wanting to move was opportunity, yeah. and I didn't need that anymore. So, I looked at the contract. Sydney offered me the most money. Collingwood was next. And then it was Port was really competitive, not to their level, but really competitive, and and I hadn't proven myself. So there was no reason to move. It's great for us. Yeah, it worked out well. In the well, end. look, you were successful. Port Adelaide was successful. And that's why we do the Taste of Success. And that's why we're drinking Thanks to now. Sidewood Wines, <laughs> exactly right. Now, I don't know if you've been up there, but check them out, sidewood.com.au. I will after that, I'll that's go, nice. That is nice, isn't it? Uh, cellar door at uh, Maximilian's up there. Have a little hit of golf while you uh, go and taste the wines. Mm. Sounds good, Nick. Thank you. You like it, Brad? Yes. Thank you, too.